department says Maria Flores. You're going to be the Sega Dreamcast. Nobody's going to appreciate you while you're around. You're going to go out of business 20 years later. People will be like, that was the best console of all time. Oh, I really wish they'd bring it back. She's going to make it. She's one tapped. Poison. What the hell? I can poison the health? I don't think anyone's going to drink it, but still, why not? Where's my, where's my Jenny? I don't have to turn this on. I turn, wait, no, I don't turn this off. Brother, I, I made a horrible mistake. How long does this thing take to get turned back on? I mean, they're probably not going to escape in that relatively short amount of time, but... <laughs> wasn't my finest move, let's put it that way. All these new fruits are GMO'd up to the gills? Yeah, but isn't that, like, um, good? Hear me out here. Let, let him cook on this one. Hang on, I need some powder real quick. Like, GMO sounds like they're hitting, like, a, an ear of corn with, like, gamma radiation. But isn't it mostly, like, hey, we found, like, a sick kind of corn that makes the kernels 15% juicier? Let's plant that corn. Like, I'm, I'm fucking GMO, bro. When my mom got impregnated by my dad, she M'd his freaking G's, I think, and he M'd her G's, and now you see the superhero before you today. <laughs> so if you're against GMOs, as far as I'm concerned, you're, you're against yours truly. And if you're against yours truly, then we can't be friends. We, we must be enemies. There's no such thing as a GMO fruit. Excuse me? Just you wait until the video essay Andes get here and tell you about the damn Cavendish banana. You're going to regret saying that. For always is always oh. forever. Cause one is one is one. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was like no blood, but when I don't have Witcher vision, like I can't find blood. <laughs> because salt isn't an O, it's got no G's to M. That makes sense to me. <laughs> Bro, can you, I mean, I, I didn't donate a lot of blood. But I at least donated some blood. He tried to attack me. We're fucked, man. We got no chance. <laughs> Damn cooks trying to cut up sissy. Witcher vision? Okay, there's more blood bags on the outside. It's finally raining in Washington. Yes! Because that means it should rain here at some point, which is important because we needed to clear the smoke away. Like, my wife is going through it right now, right? Like, she's got symptoms of, of mild, acute smoke inhalation just from the smoke in the air. Enormous swollen mosquito bites. Thanks to Skeeter syndrome. It's been a hard day's night. I'm not afraid to say it. She's been working like a damn dog.
cars that don't go anywhere. Rockets that blow up. And now the type of guy to say, boy, we sure needed this whenever it rains. Now, I'm just gonna say, fuck the generator. We're gonna kill them in the basement. I'm just gonna say, I am not that guy. And that guy very much annoys me. I love the sunshine. And I get extreme, it's the same feeling as the mosquito Andes. When like, I'm like, wow, it hasn't rained in a while. The summer's been so nice. And they're like, oh really? You like uh, the drought conditions that we're dealing with right now? And the reservoir at uh, Cleveland Dam is at like the lowest level it's been at in the two quarters. And I'm like, I, listen, I would also love there to be ample water. I would love if we could both, you know, have our way. But the point is, neither of us control the weather, okay? I just enjoy the sunshine. I guess, I guess enjoying the sunshine apparently makes you a bad person. Every time it's pleasant outside and sunny and you don't need an umbrella, before you enjoy it, you have to get down and do 10 Hail Marys. Think of Cleveland Dam. Think of Cleveland Dam. Think of Cleveland Dam. I don't control the fucking weather, bro. It's sunny. I'm going outside for a walk. What am I supposed to do? Shoot up like some silver iodide in a rocket ship to cloud seed? Like, I don't have that kind of expertise. I'm literally just one guy. People think like loving the rain is like a personality and it pisses me off. <laughs> no, I just love to curl up in my windowsill with a good book and the pitter patter of the rain outside. Okay, download a white noise app. You can still read. You don't need a cloud to tell you when it's like time to read. Oh, I love when it's cloudy outside. Oh, you hate when plants have ample access to light, which is a necessary uh, input in order for them to create glucose, which sustains all life on Earth? Wow, okay. Sorry, I didn't realize. What even is this line of conversation? You've been watching too many debate streamers. I don't know what a line of conversation is. I'm just talking. This is not like streamer own self with facts and logic, okay? I'm running around in the damn catacombs here. I'm running around in the Warrens. I don't know where the fuck to go. <laughs> There's no killers. Someone just escaped from the whole family. There's no killers. There's no family members. They uh, probably that's because I left the generator off uh, at the start of the game, which I'd like to apologize for. <laughs> Is the basement procedural? No, it's just under the house. Stop singing! Okay. Julie has disconnected. There is just one Sunny remaining. And we're dealing with level one grandfather here. Am I insane to think this is the strat? <laughs> Leatherface, can you take another exit, please? Exit camping? 
It's all I got, man. Why were you doing so well with Grandpa last time, and then this time, not so much? Guy, when he rolls a six on a d6, and then the next time he rolls a two? Because it's, I don't know what I'm doing. There's a, a, the less I understand the mechanics of what I'm doing, the more variation there's going to be in the results, without a doubt. Also, thank you for complimenting my, my gameplay last round. Hang on. Some bozo turned off the generator here. That's a, that's a huge problem. Oh, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm so stupid. I don't understand what I'm doing here. <laughs> okay, my hypothesis. Oh, I saw them. They're still in the basement. Someone in this game is as bad as I am. It would be nice to farm up some blood. And if we... I don't think I'm going to... Like, just being realistic, I'm not the kind of guy who's going to go hunting in the basement. That's Leatherface's job as far as I'm concerned. What I can do is I can econ our grandpa and try to uh, get grandpa fed so that we can detect them much more easily. Level 2 grandpa, please. Oh! Just take, just peering. Anyone else peering or just me? Now, this uh, is a team-based game, okay? It's a team game. A team game. I'm going to rely on my teammates to do some good work. They are going to put some pressure on our victims while I go hunting for blood. Which is a problem for me, because I don't know where it is. And it's so... Oh, uh, I found some. I was so convinced we were a survivor, I'm flabbergasted. <laughs> well, I don't take offense. Nope, there you go. <laughs> My gameplay looks pretty similar on uh, whether I'm a survivor or the killer, honestly. I did not get many points. Leatherface is probably going to be kind of upset about that one. Didn't see a single victim the whole time. My ass about to take a BC ferry on Friday. I'm so cooked. Why though? Why are you why are you cooked? I don't understand. Are you an R slash Vancouver reader? I understand that BC Ferries has like executive level mismanagement and stuff like that. And they be canceling sailings now and then and the ships occasionally break down. Just take it from somebody who who used BC Ferries um, not a month ago when we returned from camping. My expectation is in all likelihood you'll probably be fine. You'll probably be okay. Most annoying part of my BC Ferries trip was um, they had an arcade, but the arcade has a, a machine that turns your money into tokens. So you can play the games, but the machine that turns your money into tokens was broken. So I was unable to play the Guitar Hero arcade cabinet and show off to my daughter going I don't know how it ends. One more sissy round, then I gotta play as a victim, man. It's so funny that the guy who made Clips of Dover is named Eric Johnson. Like... Oh, is there, oh the hardest guitar song of all time? Oh yeah, that one was made by uh, Bill Smith. 
The name like Bill Smith, you expect it to be like, yippee there'll be no wedding bells for today. I've got spurs that jingle, jangle, jingle. As I roll right merry, but instead, but do 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 Though we've done our share of walking, this is why I up and ran. I've got spurs that jingle jangle. <laughs> Ryan be like is so annoying when people sing. I've never said that at all. I love when people sing, even if it's bad. Otherwise, I'd be a hypocrite. You can't just make up a guy to get mad at. That's my job. You said it about Sissy? She's not a person. She's ones and zeros. You can understand my confusion. Okay, do not turn off the generator this time. No, but, but turn on the car battery. I've learned the map completely. Dude, I'm gonna be the most important kid. This is what we call a gravity assist right here. Most valuable player. And then any blood outside? Any spurs that jingle, jingle, jingle? And then I see Grandpa. Grandpa is going to be... You know what? They should give you like the PUBG style like uh, heading indicator in this. Grandpa's located uh, 60 north by northwest. Now this is very simple. We unlock and open. We close. Lock it up. Look around for some blood en route to Grandpa. En route like the Air Canada in-flight magazine. We're already full of poison. That's wonderful news. Unlock and open. And then lock it back up. En route like the 401 rest stops. So true. Also known as the backbone of the Port Hope Economic Association. No disrespect to Port Hope, one of my favorite places to stop on the drive between uh, Kingston and Toronto. Well, I don't know. I don't want to insult Coburg. You can also get up to some stuff in Coburg. Maybe get a spicy chicken sandwich at the Coburg Wendy's or something like that. But I'm just going to feed you the blood. Some blood in the hand is worth two in the bush here. We just need a little bit more blood, man. Where's where's the cook? Is Grandpa a player? I'm not joking. I wish Grandpa was a player. Because, like, I love what I've played of the game so far. But I'm bad with almost every mechanic. So I think it would be fucking sick if I could just be Grandpa and, like, get fed and then maybe, like... As I powered up, I could like look at the map or something like that. <laughs> and I'd be like, here they are. I would turn on VoIP for that. Or I could I could like spawn traps on the map or something like like the commander in um in Natural Selection 2, who I also never played as, but I think I could be a great grandpa too. Like, uh, in terms of RPing? Like, check this one out. Huh? He's gonna get hungry in like two seconds, man. What did I tell? Okay. You know what? 50 is not enough to take him there anyway. Can we give me the Beach Boys and free my soul? There's gotta be some blood down here, right? Long gone were the times when she blood me. 
Please don't go down here. I'm going to make it back. I'm just going to get blooded up first, okay? He said they're over here. 10-4, good buddy. I'm en route. Buddy? Oh! It's a direct hit! I'm insane. I'm insane. I ran out of stam from, from attacking so much. Whatever. I got tons of blood for it. You think I'm sweating it? I see you. I see you, you piece. My bro, bro, finish the job. You are insane. You're a broken man. I can fit through there. Move. Where are you going? You're not going that way, let me tell you. There is no escape. If we don't fight to the death, he will kill us both. Don't let your stam run out. Don't let the sun go down on me. Are you kidding me? This will help them see more clearly. <laughs> Get back here. <laughs> this is what we call a gravity assist. <laughs> I got a kill cam! I got a kill cam! <laughs> Save Grandpa? Bro, there's two other killers. Like, what are they doing? Oh. She had the damn jelly bones, bro. I've got spurs that jingle, jangle, jingle <laughs> as I roll right merrily along. Oh, Mary Ann. Oh, wait, let's do another one. Oh, Lily Bell. Oh, Lily Bell. Though we've done our share of dreaming, this is why I never fell. I need to get the fuck out of here, man. Can somebody tell me how to escape from this, this John? <laughs> Stairs. Well, no kidding. Hello, grandfather. It must be this door. Yes! I don't even give a shit if grandpa's in danger. Like, I'm being straight up with you. We have two other killers. I killed someone damn, down in the damn bowels. I haven't seen Leatherface once the whole fucking game. So where's he at? Hello, grandfather. Oh, he's freaking fed, bro. <laughs> now let's take a look and see if anybody makes the mistake. No, no, no. Okay. I don't even know how many people are left. Killers are all on this floor. I, I'm, I'm going to head back in here for a second. Might be... Oh, good. Might be some more blood. Get some more poison charges. Grandpa sounds like he's about to slam in the back of my Dragula. You don't own a Dragula. Stop pretending. Stop lying for clout. I'm going to keep it a buck fifty with you. Everyone you meet in this industry is a snake. You can't trust anybody. I thought there was poison in here, but... 
<clears throat> Do Canadians wait five hours outside a honey baked ham? What does that mean? Do Canadians wait five hours outside a honey baked ham. We do not. <laughs> For a honey bake ham? It's not literal? I, what do you mean, it's not literal? I just don't get it. I wouldn't wait five hours for one. I would wait... Well, to be honest with you, I've never like ordered ham at a restaurant outside of a ham sandwich, maybe. But if I ordered ham at a restaurant, I would expect it to be out in, like, a, a disconcertingly short amount of time. I would expect it to be out on my plate within 10 minutes at the most. Because literally they just gotta slice it. And I know they got the sides already prepared back there. Hello, grandfather. Is this enough to get you to be a level four grandfather? Because if you hit level four, we're going to have an experience advantage, and then we can rush Roche. And if Grandpa gets the cheese, it's over for the final survivors. I prefer when he's survivor because he tries to win more. What the fuck are you talking about? Is... I'm, I'm doing my best right now. This is all I got, man. They're gonna love this. <laughs> okay, I'm sneaking in after you. I got her pretty good, man. She's going to be weak as hell down there. Plus, I got 38 blood to feed the grandpa. I don't know what the hell the cook's doing. That's fine. I'm not mad. Feed grandpa yet again. He's so close to level five. If you could just drop some blood... On Grandpa, he's going to hit level 5, and then nobody will ever be able to hide from us ever again. Can I lock this? No. Okay. Why does Grandpa have a little hammer? Because he's the best to ever do it? According to the tutorial? Okay, I'm, I'm closing this up. I, I can't be trusted down there. I can think. What does that sound mean? <laughs> oh, he, he just gets extra chances to detect, right? I'm going straight back to the blood mines, man. Okay, we don't close the door anymore? Uh, Leland? Oh, no, somebody opened it. That's why. Leland is not the cook. I got it, I got it a little bit confused. I'd like to apologize for my confusion. But I'm like genuinely... Hello? Don't block the spawns, brother. I see ya. I see ya. Any chance you could take the, the alternate path? Don't block the- Don't block the door! Oh, you, that's grandpa, brother. You're in a- You can't get- There's no way out from up there. What are you gonna do now? Oh, there is! And I need Leatherface! You genius. What are you gonna do there, though? We can just wait him out till he bleeds to death, right? I don't have poison. You can you can tell from my transparent poison icon. If the cook would come up here, then I could get some poison. It's right next to you. I'd have to disagree with you on that one. I hope she comes up here. <laughs> He's going to disconnect. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm not leaving. I need every kill I can get in this game. This is what competitive gameplay looks like, okay? There's literally a ladder he can go down. Oh. Well, 
That's a problem. That's tough for me to deal with, you know? That's fine. We still got a level four grandpa. You know what would be nice? Leland, the cook. If you could... Oh, somebody's getting sliced up. I think they've just been executed. Any chance... Stony cage. Any chance you could just... You gotta have blood, brother. Just feed it to grandpa. There will be one... Player remaining. They'll appear on the map at all times. We'll just rush him down. We'll just kill him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it. Do it. Do it. Feed him. Feed grandpa. Okay. And now... Now it's time for the fun part. Grandpa's power is at maximum. Empty poison! Where is he? There should be nowhere to hide. Grandpa's hungry again? What the hell? Okay, his radar is now active, right? There he is. Now, I am not going to be the person who leaves this door unlocked, okay? Is Leatherface good? Well, like this Leatherface is not good. Why isn't he killing you? I'm... We're on the same team, okay? Leatherface and I are squatted up together. It might not look like I'm doing much, but... I'm doing a lot. Haven't you heard me talking about gravity assists? Uh, my kill? NL's actually carrying this time? I mean, nobody respects the econ. I, I'm probably responsible for 3.9 of Grandpa's five levels of experience, so... Okay, where's, where's the victim finale? Because Julie has been executed. The evils of Julie were all around you? Lil Jakku escaped from the family. I'm taking no responsibility for that shit, okay? <laughs> Leatherface quit! The cook did get a kill, no disrespect. And I learned a lot about what not to do with Sissy. For example, with Sissy, I, my, you, I never landed my poison. My poison was extremely bad. We gotta be better with our poison, okay? I can't believe I only beat the cook by 15 points. That, that, that hurts a lot. A lot. You stole the cook's kill? No, I confirmed the cook's kill. There's a difference. <clears throat> yeah, maybe when they squeeze through a wall, I can get him with a pssst. take back my earlier comment see that's the thing sometimes people will look at like uh we're, we're gonna have non-secured credentials here by the way sometimes people will look at like an nhl player and be like what the hell why would i take patrice bergeron over artemi panarin artemi panarin won the heart trophy three years ago and got like 117 points but then you look at the advanced stats you go look at uh, the Corsi four and the Corsi against the five-on-five five, uh, defensive zone face-offs taken and stuff like that, and then you realize that Patrice Bergeron is bending the game around him. You realize that uh, Alexander Barkov is bending the game around him. He's slowing the game down to his level to allow the, his, his other lines to capitalize on more juicy offensive opportunities, okay? 
I was juicing up grandpa. I was causing them to have low quality shots on net instead of high danger chances. And then everyone's like, oh, you were a minus one that game. Yeah, I was a minus one so that Artemi Panarin could be on the hash marks for the offensive zone faceoffs and score two goals. Hang on. It said failure to launch. Starring Matthew McConaughey. App running. Which is not true. Is Messi going to win the Ballon d'Or this year? On Inter-Miami? Let's see what prediction markets say. Odds of Messi winning Ballon d'Or. Who will win the Ballon d'Or in 2023? Messi is massive odds-on favorite. Gambling.com. <laughs> he has a good chance, especially because he won the World Cup as well. That was this year, wasn't it? I don't know anything about football. <laughs> or soccer. Oh, he went there. It was last year, but that's within the jurisdiction. Mm, okay, all right. He did not. He did not. Do you think there's an overlap between... Um, hang on, I'd like to switch to Sunny, please, if you don't mind. Do you think there's an overlap between people who uh, are plot cells for movies and people who are... Well, they're... Unfortunately, they've readied up, so I cannot swap with them. Do you think there's an overlap between people who are plot cells for movies and people who don't watch soccer because sometimes it ends in a 0-0 draw? They'll be like, I watched soccer and nothing happened. What do you mean nothing happened? They kicked the ball around for 90 minutes. Stuff happened. There were chances. There were shots. There might have even been a save. There were a couple of corner kicks. Like, just because it doesn't show itself on the board doesn't mean it wasn't, uh, you know, a fun time. Connie, please. Connie! Connie, please. When you have to pay by the word on your internet access. Have you done the bit about the guy closing his eyes for the booby scenes in Oppenheimer yet? I kind of talked about it yesterday, but I feel like the words weren't connecting that much. Connie! I mean, I, I find it insane that, like, an adult my age would, like, go to a, a movie with a sex scene and close their eyes during the sex scene. Literally, they said, if I can't have Connie, then nobody can. Why are you talking about Connie? Because Anna's down here going, Connie, please. It's also weird when like a grown, actually this is like age inverted. When like a 60 year old guy is like, like, becomes like a hound dog and his tongue rolls out of his head and he takes two cartoon guns out of his pocket and then shoots himself in the head and then his ghost floats towards his seat and then goes out, woo -ga! Like I get that because you know, you were born in the era where you were still J-O-ing like just to your imagination like 90% of the time. But when there's like a guy my age who's like, oh, how about that? How about that nudity scene in that movie? I was like, what are you talking about, brother? Are you Mr. Skin? You're 33 years old. You're talking about how Heather Graham wore a Boston Red Sox bra in the movie Anger Management? Like, get a life.
Sunny available for swap. You're so right. So I, I would like to be a Sunny main, please, if you don't mind. Could I possibly, please? It would be so nice if you would let me be Sunny. I know you're a level nine. So, uh, uh, that, you know what? I'm going to say I respect that. Respect. Know your role. That sounds toxic. <laughs> It sounds like I'm asking him to sit himself down. That's not what I meant. I mean, I, let me... In the ninth grade, we watched Pearl Harbor in geography class. Which is, it reminds me of that tweet that's like, your kids aren't learning critical race theory in school, they're watching Dumb and Dumber in math class. Like, that, that is such a, a great tweet. But anyway, I watched a lot of great movies in school. We watched, um, we watched Ace Ventura 2 when Nature Calls and Dumb and Dumber in French class. I think they were the only French VHSs that our high school owned. Probably some kind of CanCon contract got that pushed through because Jim Carrey's in both of them. But anyway, we were watching Pearl Harbor in ninth grade gym class or ninth grade geography class. <laughs> Technically, it takes place on Earth, so it kind of makes sense. Um, I forgot I wasn't a killer for a second because my gameplay is fundamentally the same. But um, there was one kid in like our 30 person class who covered his eyes every time the, the actors kissed. And I remember thinking like even in ninth grade, I was like, get a load of this guy. <laughs> and then to imagine that that guy's now 35 and his wife is making TikToks about how like her husband is asking her when the kissing scene is over in the movie where the guy invents like the most devastating weapon of mass destruction in Earth's history. I mean, I guess I do kind of get it. This is a loot room, right? Like this is not our escape room. We had a kid, J.O., in the back row of our class. He was wearing cargo pants with quarters in his pockets. Listen. I know everybody has a story about somebody in their high school J.O.ing in class. I feel blessed. Whoops. As far as I know... I, I mean, I know for a fact I never J.O.'d in class. I also never saw anybody J.O. in class. So maybe my school, people had it a little bit more under control. Maybe they were just stealthier about it. Maybe they went to the bathroom to do it. I don't know. Imagine waiting in queue for like nine minutes and getting killed instantly. We out here? I once pretended to jerk off in class, and then my teacher thought I was really doing it. Okay, well, I mean, that's, you probably learned a valuable lesson that day, which is like, don't play with fire or you're gonna get burned. That being said, I have a, a similar story. It's not the same story, but it's a similar story, okay? It's, it's down a level, I understand. Bro, I can do this. I don't know where the door's gonna pop, but I can do this. In the third grade, we went to see like a play. And it was, you know, one of those shitty plays you go to see as a field trip when you're like nine years old or whatever. It was Snow White, but like pantomime. So it'd be like, do you see where Snow White is? And you'd be like, no, no. Anyway, at the end of the play, I remember thinking, let me down, please. Get right clicked on. I just, I can't believe that that worked. I remember thinking, this seems bad. Uh, wouldn't it be funny if I faked crying to convince my friends that I really was like emotionally devastated? So I at age eight or whatever, maybe the greatest natural actor of all time, I summoned fake tears and I was like, 
you guys, that was so sad. Oh, that was so sad. And then they were like, hey, check it out. Ryan's crying because of Snow White. And I was like, I'm not. I was faking it. And they're like, yeah, sure. He, you, yeah, you're faking it. What kind of eight-year-old can fake cry? Who do you think you are, Daniel Day-Lewis? I, I fucked up this game. I'd like to apologize. It's actually all Sonny's fault. I did everything right and they indicted me. But then, like, at the end of the day, you know, like, we're years later now. I got to... I gotta just say, like, um, what did I expect them to do? Like, I literally, it went exactly as I planned. I tricked them into thinking I was crying, but in, and they did find it funny, but they found it funny at my expense. You got me, that's weird. I got outplayed that time. In middle school, I was in the bathroom, and I saw a kid in the next stall poop on the floor and then I saw his hand reach down and grab the turd and throw it in the toilet. <laughs> That's funny. I don't know if we have that many crazy stories from my high school. This is the craziest one that comes up all the time is when we had like kids from a different school came to our school for a semester to do like an intensive computer science program or something like that. I'm the cook! Would you swap with me? Could I be sissy? Oh, you're level 10, sissy. I'm not going to debase you. Chad, should I be Leatherface? I'm like truly ass at Leatherface, man. I should just, <laughs> just ready up. Do not be Leatherface. Um, anyway. For those kids, listen. I'm a nerd. They were also nerds. They were stereotypical nerds. Whatever. One day they came into the cafeteria with an enormous block of ice and they put the ice on the lunch tables and it was it was basically like a little iceberg right like it was not like this big it was like this big so they put it on the lunch table it took up it took up the whole lunch table and then they started going around the other tables going like hey do you guys want some ice for your drinks <laughs> do you want some ice for your drink <laughs> and we would just be like no thanks and then uh this kid that Mouth knew, who was like 6'4", 290 in the 10th grade, took offense to them trying to cause a commotion. So he uh, pushed one of them over onto the floor and then got on top of him and said, like, what are you doing in my school? What are you doing in my school? What are you doing in my school? That was like the craziest one, I think, that happened. That's all... I. That guy, I don't even know the kid who is now like an adult two years younger than me or whatever. But um, he had another story I heard from Malf that I love is that when Malf worked at the convenience store, he used to come in there every day and get a slushie. And then his mom got pissed off because the slushies are like $5 each in the year 2004, which is like the cost of a bubble tea today. Um, so she said, I'm just going to buy him a slushie machine. And then he didn't come into the store for like two days. And the third day he came back and Mike was like, I thought you got your own slushy machine. And he said, they don't taste the same. <laughs> Which is, is so good, man. Okay. What is this guy good at? I see. He uses his equipment to, to trap doors. He can add padlocks to doors as well. Where the frick is Grandpa? Where the frick are you? There he is. Okay. I can't sneak through there. That, that's going to be a problem for me. I don't need to add a padlock to this door. Malf is named Mike? Yes. You can tell because his... Twitch uh, account is Michael A.L. Fox. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> there was blood right here the whole time. Let me out, bro.
blood blood bad start man you just study map genie for this house I mean, this shit is... I mean, I get that it's a video game, but it is laid out in, like, a... It's a bit of a confusing layout, in my opinion. Maybe you disagree. I mean, that's your prerogative, but... What does this do? Oh, <laughs> I'm not qualified for that. Where is Grandpa? Whoa, whoa, whoa. He was good with those powders. Well, let's see it. Grandpa, I'm sorry I left you all those years. Okay, you feed him some blood, I'll feed him some blood. Grandpa's power is increased. He's not hungry yet, but I should stay relatively close. Oh, hello. If only I knew how to get down there. Ma'am, please, I would like, it's my turn with Grandpa. Take this now. It'll perk you right up. Can't believe Dan is using an emote slot on this and it's literally just a question mark. Dan's a wild guy. He's a character. I, know you here somewhere. I think I see you. I think I saw you right here. What do your elf eyes see? The heck is this? It's not interactable. Whoa! You scared me. Can you feed Grandpa again? <laughs> Someone said you should add a padlock on the front door and the back door. You know what? Check it out. Lock added. Now, if I were a back door, where would I be? Great question. Probably at the back. I'm getting pogs for that, so I'm, I'm, I'm pretty stoked. Appreciate it. Appreciate the pogs. Oh, someone's climbing the ladder here. Hello. I can't think straight with all this craziness going on. <laughs> I mean, you're the one doing the murders, brother. This, there's a yeah, yeah, yeah. I see you. I see you. I'm crazy. Oh, he's frustrated. <laughs> There was another one back here. I see you. Got you now. They're over here. Look, we're not getting any kills, but that's still pretty good, dude. We got 30 blood for the blood god. Grandpa's in danger. I'm literally leaving this guy behind for the time being, unless he's in the, the forest with me here. We gotta go feed some blood to Grandpa. I'm fixing a clean ear plow. The cook gets giga blood. Good job, Leatherface. That's called a gravity assist. Why do they not fight back? Because they're teenagers, man. All they know how to do is talk on the damn phone and throw eggs in my house. Make fun of my shoes in public. Oh, look at... Look, dude. Little bros really got the white socks with the black New Balances. Love. Itch ball, dude. Itch ball. Jerry, itch ball. Hey, we've got some blood over here. She made fun of you for lamowing? She made fun of me for lamowing, Jerry. She said people don't lamow anymore. 
People don't lamau anymore. It's ijbol now. It's all ijbol. I just switched from LOL to LMAO, and now they switched to me again. Kramer shows up, says, they switched it up on you? Age bowl. Everybody laughs. Ad for joining the Navy SEALs. Okay, I guess nobody gives a shit about Grandpa anymore. Nobody respects their elders but me. Please use your ability. I found her. Hello. Bro, don't open my padlocks. They're not getting anywhere. One of them's still in the freaking basement, bro. This might seem crazy. This guy's unable to crouch. He's got bad knees. I think they're over here. Tell me I'm wrong. Fizz has escaped from the family. Well, looks as if somebody's leaking. See what you made me go and do? <laughs> can you go, can you slide down Dark Souls style? I gotta go back out. I gotta, I gotta stop them from escaping from the family. The old Leatherface can't come to the phone right now. Why? Because he's bad. I mean, he's dead. Well, at least while we're waiting, because I think we, we created a little gravity assist there. Might as well get some more blood. Grandpa's getting a little closer. Hello, Leatherface. You heard that new Olivia Rodrigo track? I gotta wait for a 30-minute Cody Rigsby pop ride to drop. I think all the Peloton instructors are on vacation right now, so... Could, could be a while. Doing old ass rides from before Peloton went woke. Did you see someone through here? Who opened the Who opened the damn door? Haven't you people ever heard of closing a, a gosh darn doorknob? The Jenny. <laughs> I did the Jen Sherman classic rock ride live today. It was a good one. I, um, at the risk of sounding like an enormous hater, hello, I am very much not uh, Jen Sherman pill. I got a couple Jen Sherman rides in the favorites, but not too many. Oh, I'm crazy. But that being said, I will say, Jen Sherman got some, uh, she's got some good playlists. You can always rely on her to have like a good Bruce Springsteen song. She's doing the yacht rides and stuff, the yacht rock rides and stuff like that. You get, it's the only place you're ever gonna get some Steely Dan, unless Dennis is feeling a little saucy. I mean, I'm, I don't wanna, I don't wanna unlock and open, cause I'm, I'm scared you're just gonna run out. I'll lock it back up. I'll just hang out right here if you don't mind. Yo. Oh! What the hell, man? It's alright, the generator's on. No, it's Leatherface. Leatherface is my kill. Leatherface, this one's for me. This is my kill, Leatherface.
Header off at the pass. My kill. <laughs> it's alright, I, I got a real assist on that one. Oh, it's over. Spit boy there. Can I get in on this too? Can I get a slice? Huh? Huh? What'd you say? What'd you? Huh? 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 Oh, it hurts. You're dead. I can't hear ya. I can't hear ya. Oh, that was a good game. Balanced killer game. Man, it's crazy how much I'm enjoying Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I feel like nobody would have predicted it. Game seems like pure nonsense. It's... I, I, I was proud of my performance. I was the worst on my team, but I'm still proud of my performance. Chibli, Chibli. Hello, Chibli. Welcome, Chibli. Chibli, people are saying you don't know about Game Pass. I said I told him about Game Pass. I told Chibli about Xbox Game Pass, PC Game Pass. There's many Game Passes. And they say, Chibli told me the game was 58 New Zealand dollars. I said, not on, not on Game Pass, Chibli. Just ask Olivia Munn and Ripley. Believe it or not, it's on Game Pass now. And they indicted me. I'll have a junior bacon cheeseburger. I asked for a key. It's so embarrassing. I I feel you feel like such a little guy when you ask for a key. Please, please. I'm just a humble streamer. Would you be so inclined as to give me a digital key I could redeem in exchange for your game? My Twitch rep just gave me the code, so I wouldn't know anything about that lifestyle. <laughs> it's the photo of the ant with the hobo stick. You know which meme is like really annoying to me? Is the one where the dude is mining, but the diamonds are like one swing away? Because this actually, people always use it for like when someone quits gambling or something like that. But the truth is, like the meme is actually kind of true. It's like you never know if the next one would be the one where you hit the diamonds. Like imagine quitting on the swing before you hit the diamonds, man. That <laughs> You gotta wait till you hit the diamonds and then you must quit immediately. Get it twisted. Keep gambling. You will win all your money back. Or the Goodfellas meme that is like, um, when you gamble, you can only lose all of your money, but you can win 200 times your money. It's simple math. I am not, I mean, you already know this. I'm not a gambling Andy. In fact, and I think I've probably alienated some of my audience here. If you, if you gamble, I don't really care. It's the public personalities for whom gambling becomes their entire life that I'm more like, couldn't be me. Like, it seems, every once in a while, you'll find like, someone will make a sports tweet that finds its way into my For You page. It's the exact same thing I did last time. Um, and then I like click on their profile and I'm like, oh, are they, do they have good sports takes? And then they're posting about the spread on a major league baseball regular season game between two non-contenders. And I'm like, you are addicted to gambling. If you're gambling on a game between the Oakland Athletics and the Chicago White Sox and you don't live in Oakland or Chicago, you should talk to somebody. That's just normal people. No, that think that it's being normalized, okay? I don't think it's normal. Pe I think it's becoming normal people. Which is why I'm out here saying that it's cringe in the hopes that maybe 
it'll stop like one person from doing it and then they'll save their money and give it to me because I'm their favorite streamer. Grandpa? Grandpa! You're right, I'm gonna padlock the front door too. That was, that was great tech last time. I fed him enough to wake him up already. Oh! This door is getting the second lock. This is based cook gameplay. Let's freaking go. What the heck's going on out there? Someone's escaping already? Now, if only my ass knew where to go. This cook has been certified by real American patriots. Don't worry, that's probably just Leatherface making a ruckus. <laughs> Sounds bad, but Leatherface is on my team, so... There's, there's stairs in here, bro. It's every day, bro. Where's my stairs? <laughs> here we go again. Stairs! Well, these are shaking, bro. This door was opened! And your head is all the way up it. I'm going to padlock this one. I don't know if this is a relevant padlock, but I'm going to do it anyway. And then I'm going to unlock it, but then I'm going to close it up and I'm going to lock it back up. And I'm going to farm up some more blood. That's a great padlock. Let's go! This is why I can't play with Chibli yet. I have to wait until I've mastered the game so I can do to him what he did to me in Battle Block Theater. I don't know what I'm doing out here. Sorry, not Battle Block Theater. You got me. Battle Bit. Battle Bit Remastered. Anybody up farming blood for grandpa? Or just me? There's no blood out here. There's just, oh, there's one blood. There is one blood bag. Hello, Sir Victor. Hello. How are you? Bro, what you, relax. What am I doing in here? I'm wasting my time like default. That's what I'm doing. We gotta go back inside the house. How does this compare to Dead by Daylight? Um, Dead by Daylight is a weird game for me to talk about because I'm like not qualified to talk about it on anything other than like a hide and seek level. I would say it's basically the same core gameplay as Dead by Daylight. Um, but it does feel like you have a little bit more variety in what you're doing as a, um, as a survivor and as a, as a killer as well. It does only have one map, but I'm here to tell you that that's a positive because I can't even figure out this map. It also, uh, where it delineates itself from Dead by Daylight, in my opinion, it, uh, well, somebody's getting killed down there. It, uh, the phases of the game as a survivor feel different. Like, instead of just, like, generator, 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 like, they're actually, you're doing different stuff. Well, no, not really. <laughs> now that I think about it, you're kind of just, you're doing stuff in the basement, and then you're doing stuff in the house, and then you're doing stuff in the outside. But uh, still, it feels a little different, I would say. 
Yeah, there, instead of generators, there's lockpicks and there's searching in this. It's comp there's only one generator in this, okay? And you don't even have to fix it. You better lock that door. He, I don't think he locked the door behind him, bro. Where the hell did Grandpa go? Oh, he's always been there. It is cool that the killer has teammates. Because, like, it used to be... If you didn't kill anybody, then you had nobody to blame but yourself. Now, you got somebody to blame, which feels fantastic. Even if you know deep down it's all your fault. Hello. Uh-oh. <laughs> The hunt is over. I, I think I got a gravity assist on that one personally. I was pretty good. Your gravity was incredible on that one. Dude, I got like no points. I, I did pretty well. It's, you know what, you don't get, they don't respect feeding grandpa. And that's sad. I will say our hitchhiker did an amazing job. That being said, I'm gonna go.